Hey guys, Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks, and today I'm going to be looking at two smartphones, the HTC One and the ASUS Padphone Infinity. Now personally, I think these are the two best looking smartphones on the market, so let's see which one is right for you. So now let's start off with a quick overview of both of these devices. The ASUS Padphone Infinity is a 5-inch smartphone with a 1080p display, and it's running a Qualcomm Snapdragon 600 processor with 2 gigabytes of RAM. The HTC One is a 4.7-inch smartphone, 1080p display, Snapdragon 600 processor, and 2 gigabytes of RAM. So they do actually have quite a bit in common. The first thing we're going to take a look at is the design of the device. The ASUS pad phone is a little square. Some people have called it iPhone-esque. I disagree with that. Uh, the back has this texturized uh, brushed metal finish, whereas the HTC One just has a matte metallic aluminum finish. Both of them have visible points for the NFC antenna. And if we compare dimensions, the Padphone Infinity is 8.9 millimeters thick, the HTC One 9.3. But you can see because the HTC One has a tapered design, the edges seem a lot thinner. The front of these devices are also very different. The HTC One has two speakers to support the Beats audio, which gives this far superior sound. So if we take a walk around the system, you can see on the right hand side that both of the handsets have volume rockers. The Padphone Infinity has a power button and then a tiny little speaker which compared to the giant grills on the One makes it kind of pitiful. If we look at the tops of the handsets, you can see they both have headphone jacks and on the One this is where the power button is located. Now the power button also doubles as an infrared sensor and you can use your One as a remote control with your TV. And around the left side of the device is where we can find the SIM card slots. And on the bottom we have a micro USB connector. Taking a look at display, personally, I think this one's a very close call. The ASUS Padphone Infinity is 5 inches with a 1080p display, Super IPS plus LCD, which gives it a pixel density of 441 pixels per inch. The HTC One is 4.7 inch 1080p display, Super LCD 3, and because it's smaller, it has a higher pixel density of 468. Both are capacitive multi-touch, both have a light sensor, both have a proximity sensor, and both are scratch resistant. Taking a look at these series of photos, some of the whites look whiter, some of the blues look bluer. But the ASUS Padphone Infinity actually comes with ASUS Splendid, which can increase the vibrancy, bump up the contrast, make the whites whiter, make the blacks blacker, cool or warm the screen. So you can actually customize your display a little bit more with the Padphone Infinity. When looking at the battery, both have a non-removable lithium polymer battery. The Infinity has a 2400 milliampere battery, the One a 2300 milliampere battery. Because the Infinity has a slightly larger display, it has a slightly larger battery to go with it. Both of these devices allowed me to go all day without searching for a charger. Since both of these devices are sporting the Qualcomm Snapdragon 600 processor with 2 gigabytes of RAM, we don't expect that many differences in performance. If we take a look at Benchmark Pi, the ASUS Padphone Infinity came out on top with 144 versus the One at 151. In SunSpider's JavaScript benchmark, the ASUS Padphone Infinity pretty much killed all the competition with a score of 875, and the One came in at 1124, which is actually a middle of the pack number. And as you can see on Antutu, even though they're rocking the same processor, the Padphone Infinity nearly scored 25,000, and the One barely got 19. Now when it comes to putting both of these cameras head to head, we can't actually pick a winner because the ASUS Padphone is actually a pre-production sample. It's a very, very, very close to final pre-production sample. But from what ASUS has told us from looking at our photos, uh, the camera quality is not the final version. But what we can talk about is this is a 13 megapixel shooter that offers a couple of really cool features. So here you can see that I look a little bit different, a little bit of blush on there. You can see the beautification has actually kicked in. So you can see my eyes are bigger. There's me with no makeup. There's me with it just a little bit. Here we have another pretty cool feature on the phone. You can see I have the beautification on just a little bit. So now I can just go one, two, three, cheese. So it actually is voice commanded so you don't have to touch the screen. Taking a closer look at the front facing camera, it is two megapixel and is capable of 1080p video at 30 frames a second like the rear facing camera. Taking a look at the HTC One camera, its resolution is only four megapixels, but apparently these are ultra pixels. 
So this is bigger pixels that capture more light, 300% more light according to HTC. HTC's camera also has ZO, which is a third shooting mode. So in addition to stills and video, it takes a three second video whose frames you can actually selectively retain as stills. Now one of the big differences between these two devices is its implementation of Android. Now the Padphone Infinity has a very vanilla experience when it comes to Android Jelly Bean. If we take a look at the HTC One, you can see they put their Scent UI on top of it. So it has this customized home screen and then you can put your apps over here. When we head into the back end, this really does not look like stock Android Jelly Bean at all, actually. And even the buttons here at the bottom, you can see that they have the HTC logo. Um, so you can double tap to get to all your widgets, long press to go into Google Now, whereas the Padphone Infinity is very typical. So here's the button that brings up all of your apps that are on. Long press brings up Google Now, but you can see that here they've added a customized launcher that lets you select eight different applications that you can launch directly from the home screen, as well as Asus Echo and Google Now. Asus Echo is kind of like Siri, except you can't ask it a lot of questions. You can ask it to engage the smartphone itself. So you can ask it to call somebody like call Sasha. So between the two, which is better? Personally, I'm a fan of stock vanilla Android. Asus has kept it nice and clean. They've only added in a couple of widgets. When taking a closer look at the notification bar, you can see it is just packed full of settings. Whereas when we take a look at the HTC One, you pull it down and there's really not that much going on. Even the back end to access the settings looks very different from what we have with ASUS. This is much more reminiscent of what we see with stock Android. Both handsets support NFC, a GPS with GLONASS, Bluetooth 4.0, an accelerometer, compass, and gyroscope. They've also got Wi-Fi, with the one adding the 5 GHz band. The one also offers DLNA, as well as infrared, as we mentioned before, out of the power button, which allows you to use the one as a remote control for your TV. So what's the verdict between these two smartphones? I mean, they're very similar spec. They both have a Qualcomm 600 processor with two gigabytes of RAM. They both have a 1080p display. The HTC One is 4.7 inches, the Padphone Infinity, five. So what's gonna be the tiebreaker between the two? Well, let's start just with how it feels in your hand. Because the HTC One kind of has curved edges, it seems to fit into your hand a little bit better. Now, if you don't have big hands, either of these phones will work for you. But in terms of interacting with the handset, I do have to give it to the Padphone Infinity because I personally prefer stock Android. HTC's Sense 5.0 is good, it's very intuitive, but I just prefer stock Android, so this may be a personal preference for you. Now in terms of performance and benchmarks, well, it seems like the Padphone Infinity has pulled ahead, but when you're actually using both handsets because they're running the same processor, I would kind of call it a wash. If you are a benchmark freak, then Stick with that, hope that works out for you, but I'm just more of a, how does the UI feel? How does the phone feel when it navigates? And they both seem really quick. Gaming isn't a problem. So all of these things that are just usage, I'd say same processor, same amount of RAM. So the one thing that I haven't talked about is pricing. The HTC One, you can get directly from HTC, unlocked for 575. The ASUS Padphone Infinity in the US is gonna be a lot more difficult to get. It's not available through carriers. The LTE band isn't supported there. You can only get it through a reseller and the best price right now is 950 and that's bundled with the Padphone Station. So the question is, will you be able to pick up the handset, just the handset, without the station. In Taiwan, you can. It's 20,000 NT, or roughly $700, which isn't a bad price, just for the handset. But if you compare it to the one, you definitely get some more bang for your buck. So you guys have watched the video pretty much until the end. So you've seen how the HTC One stacks up against the Padphone Infinity. I think they're both really great handsets. ASUS has done a really good job considering this is only their third attempt at a smartphone. I just think the HTC One pulls ahead just a little bit more feeling in the hand. I have to give it to the One. Displays equal, processors equal, pretty much. So I mean, I'm giving it to HTC. What about you guys? Do you guys disagree? Leave me a comment. I'm Nicole Scott from Mobile Geeks.